firm shares climbing higher today after the buy now pay later company saw revenue climb 22% year over year and transactions per active customer jumped 32%. A firm CFO Michael Linford joins me now for more on those results. I mean, we're continuing to see the stock just skyrocket today. A lot of focus on that full year 24 guidance, as well as what we've seen with really what's been the difference maker in this tough macroeconomic environment. What do you attribute this to? Look, I think the firm um, business is really on fire right now. We have really dialed in our, our credit performance and controlled the outcomes that we need to control to perform well. We were able to drive real growth and show operating leverage at the same time. And, and I think that's really what investors are looking for us to do right now. And I take a step back. The way consumers are paying for things is fundamentally changing. And a firm is best positioned to, to capture and harness that change. We have a market leading business and we're able to um, take share even with that leadership position. Because I mean, even as we look at the gross merchandise volume or GM of GMV of $5.5 billion, that's up 25% year over year. And I know we, we always talk about sort of the resilience of the consumer, but then we have started seeing some cracks in that. So how are you managing, when you look at your consumer makeup, how are you managing the consumer and assessing them? Yeah, I think one of the benefits that we have is a really broad set of categories. So in our fiscal fourth quarter, we saw really strong growth in travel and ticketing as consumers did spend more money on things that were experiential and, and moving away from categories that they spent a lot of money on during the COVID periods, for example, furniture. Um, and because we're so well situated in a broad set of categories, we're able to meet the customer where they are in any part of the cycle. And, and right now we're experiencing that growth in those segments. Um, and, and I think from a credit standpoint, our ability to control those credit outcomes is on full display right now. And I think that allows us to be um, very thoughtful and careful, but nonetheless, very growthful, even in this environment where, like you say, other people are starting to see some cracks. Now, it's interesting because we are still seeing the analysts split on the stock at the moment. We saw some some concerns, some caution coming out of Wedbush. They were they have an underperform rating on a firm and they were focused on the significant level of stock based compensation as well as competition in the buy now pay later space, especially as some of these point of sale. Some of these companies are trying to do their own sort of point of sale um, initiatives as well. How do you combat that or how do you manage some of those risks? Yeah, on, on competition, it's a it's a question that we've really had um, been answering since we went public three years ago. And we, we include a lot of disclosures around our ability to earn merchant fees. And it's pretty remarkable how consistent the merchant fees that we've been able to, to earn have been um, really through all of the, the focus on the category. Uh, we're partnered with some of the largest enterprises and they pick partnering with the firm because of our ability to work at enterprise scale. And it really is differentiated versus any other player. Um, and so I think that we're, we're extremely well positioned to meet those large enterprise partners where they need to be and to help serve their customers in the best way possible. I mean, what we do is really hard. And because it's hard, the best companies in the world partner with us to do it. And as we look at some of those those key companies that you're partnering with there, I mean, this is coming at a time when, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the consumer. You know, you have student loan repayments about to kick back in, you know, consumers starting to, you know, pinch some of their pennies there, even some of, you know, the, the wealthier people trying to now, you know, spend more money at Walmart. How do you really manage those headwinds and how concerned are you about how you might see that play out? Yeah, I think we've seen a very resilient consumer in large part due to the strong employment that we've seen in the economy. And, you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again, that the American consumer is is super strong and we don't bet against them. We do try to meet them where they are. And so for us, having a broad set of categories being distributed on brands like like Walmart is really important for us. Um, and and we don't really focus too much on where, where they're going to shop. We know that they will be. And, and so long as we're distributed correctly, we're going to meet them where they are.